Hi, welcome to this tutorial on solving equations where the unknown x is represented as a power. Like in this example, 3 to the power x equals 12. And in this example, number 2, you'll notice that the unknown x appears not only above just one term but above two of them. I've got here a harder example, 5 to the power 2x minus 1 equals 3 to the power x plus 1. So how do we solve equations like this? What we need to do is use logarithms and I'll remind you of one rule that we're going to use often called the power rule. I introduced this actually in one of my earlier tutorials. The power rule is that the log of any number a to the power n in a given base, say c, is identical to n log a in the same base c. Essentially all that we're doing is moving the power, n in this case, to the front of the log and you get an identical result. So let's show you how that works in solving equations like this. Well, for number one, what we do is we always log both sides to the same base. I'm going to choose base 10 for my first example. So if I log both sides to base 10, I don't have to write a 10 down here. By default, you can leave the 10 off. It's understood that it's in base 10 if you just write log. Okay, so that'd be log of 3 to the power x equals log of 12. So they're both in base 10. Now I can use this rule where I take the power, in this case x, and bring it to the front of log 3. So I can say that therefore x log 3 is equal to log 12. Next I can divide both sides by the log of 3. So if I just put that in there, okay, dividing by log 3, and do the same to the other side, then what happens here is that log 3 and log 3 being the same cancel one another out and that leaves me with x so therefore x is going to equal the result of dividing log 12 by log 3 so what is log 12 divided by log 3? Well, we can do it on any scientific calculator we've got the log button here so we can just type in the log of 12 close the bracket and divide it by the log of 3. And if we equal that, what we get then is 2.2618 and so on. So I could round that up, say x is equal to 2.3 to one decimal place. Now what I'd like to just show you is that it doesn't matter what base you use, although I chose base 10 because base 10 is going to be on most calculators through the log button. But you could use any base and on a calculator like this we've got this button here which will handle any base. So for instance, suppose I chose base 5, then I could do this in base 5, I could log both sides to base 5 and would have the log of 3 to the power x in base 5 would equal log of 12 in base 5. I'd have a 5 in here and a 5 in here and 5, 5 down there, log of 12 in base 5 divided by the log of 3 in base 5. And I'll just show you that if we clear this off and use this button here, we've got the log in base 5, we'll move the cursor up into the bracket of 12, move the cursor that way, divided by, and then we'll do the log in base 5 of 3. And so when I press equals, 
you'll see I get exactly the same answer. So it doesn't matter then what base you use as long as you log to the same base on either side. But as I say, it really makes common sense if you ask me just to uh, use the log button though. All right, let's do the other example now. Okay, we'll take the calculator away. Now, for this next example, it's a bit more involved, but essentially, again, we've got two terms raised to powers which are functions of x, and we've got to find out what x is. So, to do this, I log both sides in the same base, and I'm going to choose base 10, so we would have that therefore the log of 5 to the power 2x minus 1 equals the log of 3 to the power x plus 1. Now by, by the power rule here I can bring the power out to the front. And In examples like this you've got to be careful that you just don't write 2x minus 1 log 5. I see that all too often 2x minus 1, you've got two terms here, and we need to treat it as one term. So we need to put that in brackets. It's 2x minus 1, all being multiplied by log 5. So make sure you put that in brackets. And the same applies to this one over here. This is going to be all of x plus 1 being multiplied by log 3. Next, what you need to do is expand the brackets. And if we expand this bracket, what we get is 2x multiplied by log 5, which is 2x log 5. It isn't log of 10x. That 2 is a common mistake. So it is 2x log 5. And then we multiply the minus 1 with the log 5 and get minus 1 lot of log 5, or just simply minus log 5. Doing the same on the right here, we have x log 3, and then 1 times log 3 is just 1 lot of log 3, just log 3. All right. If that had been a 2 there, by the way, it would have been 2 log 3, not the log of 6. Okay, so hopefully uh, you won't make mistakes like that. Now, in this equation here, we have two x terms. We have this x term here, and we have an x term over here. So I need to bring the x terms to the same side. So what I'm going to do is subtract x log 3 from both sides. And I'm going to add log 5, because this isn't an x term, to both sides. So what I'm going to essentially do is bring all the x terms to one side and all the constants to the other side. So if I now take away x log 3 from both sides, I'm going to get 2x log 5 minus x log 3 equals, and if I add log 5 to both sides, I'm going to have log 3 plus log 5. So log 3 plus log 5. So always do that, bring the x terms to one side and take all the other log terms to the other side. Now that you have the x terms on one side, what we need to do now is factorize. We pull out x as a common factor. So if we do that, we therefore have x bracket and we have 2 log 5 minus log 3 equals, and then we have log 3 plus log 5, log 3 plus log 5. We're nearly there now, because what I can do now to both sides is divide both sides by 2 log 5 minus log 3. And if I do that, that will just leave me with x on this side equals the log of 3 plus log 5, all divided by the lo 2 log 5 minus log 3. Okay, so that's essentially it. All you need to do now 
is just work this out on any calculator and if you do that I'll leave it to you to do that and check it but what you do get is 1.2772 and so on and if you round that to say one decimal place x is equal to 1.3 to one decimal place alright so two examples then that uh, hopefully you'll be able to model your methods on. And that brings us to the end of this particular tutorial on solving equations where the unknown is a power. I'm going to look at further um, equations that use logs in my next tutorial, so hopefully you'll look at those.